Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Sharns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time seeing me ever, what we like to do here is talk about all things crochet and drink a little bit of wine at the same time. So how is everybody doing out there in the world right now? What time is it? Where you're at? Where you're from? What you're doing? Say hello in the chat so I can bring you to the front and you can say hello to everybody. And you were here first. Happy fall. Season crocheting, y'all. It's beautiful. This is definitely what I like to consider my uh, yarn season. Usually between September and December, January, that's when all that yarn money starts rolling in. I'm starting to make more patterns. People are starting to watch more of my videos. So this is definitely yarn season. And today feels a little bit fall where I'm at. Let's see. The temperature is a nice, cool 71 degrees. The trees are just now, they're not turning. They're still green, but I can see some, I'm looking out my window if you're seeing what I'm looking at. I'm seeing some orange on some parts of the tree. So fall is starting to get closer. So let's check it in chat and see how everybody's doing. Let's see, we have, hello, 1 p.m. in Wichita, Kansas. Let's see, we got Texas, Denmark. Hello, Isabel. 8 p.m. in Denmark. So it's better for you to be having a nap, nightcap right now. Right now, this is an afternoon drink. So I guess it's okay for you to be drinking in the evening. It's not too bad. What's up, Wanda? Hello from Florida. I'm crocheting ornaments and holiday gift cards. Nothing wrong with that. You have to like hop on it ahead of time. So when it's time to actually give them, you already have them ready. Ooh, even further away. We didn't know you were from Peru, Stranger Than Fiction. Why didn't I know that, Fave? I should know that. All right. Welcome. What time is it? San Francisco. And we'll do one more. Uh, let's see. Hello from Hudson Valley, New York. Seeing some attempts, uh, seeing some attempts from autumn. Yeah, it's, it's starting. So today, since we're talking about autumn and fall, I gathered on well, that person myself. My good assistant, uh, Nine Inspired, Angela, she put together this beautiful arrangement of 10 crochet patterns that's perfect for fall. As we have a lot of things from hats to blankets to decorations. Well, actually, these are all decorations, so no hats. More like decor things like blankets and pillows and throw things like that. So those are all going to be within this roundup today. Here we go. All right. So let me pull up my script. Let's see. And before we hop into this, usually before I start my roundups, I always like to ask all of you people, wonderful people in the audience, a question so I can get to know you better and you can get to know me better. So, you know, if this isn't your first time here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the question that I'm asking right now, before you type it in the comments, Put question marks in front of it so I know to bring them to the front. What is your absolute favorite thing about fall? Right now, put in the comments. Don't worry, I'm going to get back to it. So we're going to hop directly into this roundup. All these patterns that you're going to see on this roundup is going to be linked down in the description box below. So if you're watching this on a replay and you're like, Alicia, shut up. Don't worry. Go down to the description box and go directly to all these patterns. All right, so I'm going to share the first one. All right, great simple pattern. This is called the fall acorns. With just four rounds of single crochet stitches, these adorable acorns are addictively quick and easy to make. You'll need to top off the actual acorns with hot glue onto your work. What a great excuse to go for a walk and appreciate the fall leaves. The designer of this pattern is to craft at home. This is so cute. So actually, make sure you go for a walk or wherever you know where there's actual acorns. And you can glue a little acorn on top. Let's see if we can get a closer look at this. Now, look how cute that is. And how quick these will work up. All right, next pattern. And guys, forgive my reading. This is my first time reading over the script. So if I jumble over some words, forgive me. Coming in at number two is the fabulous fall wreath. 
Many red pumpkins mingled with vibrant fall foliage in this rustic wreath with a perf which looks perfect for fall. Aside from the grapevine wreath base, you'll probably have everything you need on hand. You'll only need a small amount of yarn so you can raid your scrap basket. The designer of this pattern is Crochet 365 Knit 2. Now, you can probably go to your local dollar store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or, of course, your craft stores to get the wreaths. Super cheap. And we definitely have, if you're a yarn junkie like me, have these scraps laying around. Any other pictures? Look how tiny and cute these pumpkins are. You don't even have to put them on a wreath. Put them on your mantle. Put them, I have a piano over there in the corner of the room. I'll put them across the piano. That'll be super cute. All right. All right, so back to me. The question that I ask all of you, what is your favorite thing about fall? My favorite thing about fall is I no longer have to worry about shorts or tank tops. I can start pulling out my little cardigans. I can start wearing uh, my sweatsuits. I just love my fall wardrobe over my summer wardrobe. That's basically it. I'm not the type that says I need some pumpkin latte spice something to drink. I can care less. It's all about what I'm wearing and how comfortable I am in it. I just, I have a billion of these. I just toss them over a tank top and look, I'm ready to go. So that's my absolute favorite thing about fall. Oh, and I love all fall colors. I love that uh, burnt orange. I love... Uh, burgundies and browns and that deep earthy colors those are my favorite so those are my favorite things about fall let's hop back in there we go oh and stranger to oh right down bottom and over 1 p.m in peru right now there we go yes here we go this wasn't a question of being answered, but I just had to read this from Stranger Than Fiction. In Peru, the seasons are opposite, other side of the equator. Yep, flippity flop. So we're gearing up for summer. I love the anticipation of warm summers as the climate changes. I always found that was so cool how our, the opposite side of the equators, how our season just like flippity flop. I think that's cool. Okay, let's see. Your favorite thing are fall colors. That is my favorite thing about fall. Let's see. Woven Tail Designs, please email me today because I want to have you on my show so I can interview you. But let me read your comment because I, I don't remember to email, so forgive me. I love that the humidity from the summer starts going away and my hair gets a break. Amen. One, I never ever, I have curly hair. I never do straight hairstyles in the summer. It's just ridiculous. I'll pop on, more likely to pop on a straight wig than managing to try to straighten this because it's not going to happen. I have to wait until probably two to the dead of winter when I know winter is at its driest and crispiest cold if I want to think about doing anything straight in my hair. Have to wait. Hmm. Gina, absolutely the colors and the crisp air in the morning and evening. In the evening, no, I just caught on to it being a little bit chilly in the evening because I like to sit on my front porch at night and it's just something nice and calming. And usually I'm just out there in just my whatever clothes on I had that day. But the other night I went out, I was cold. I grabbed my robe. I don't care. I sat on my robe on my front porch and sat out there like, it's brisk out here. Hmm. Let's see. Anybody else? What is your favorite thing about fall? Remember to put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, hello, Leo. I always have to say hello to you. All right. So not too many responses on that one. So we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. So the next thing that question I'm going to ask you is lovely. Pull down, Leo, sorry. Oh, Leo said, love that is poncho season. I love earthy colors. You are like, the you, you make some nice ponchos. You have made some. And I do love the earthy, beautiful colors. 
it's I do love bright colors too. Yellow is my favorite bright color, but fall just has that just the muted cute. I don't know those colors. I just love. All right. So the next question that I'm going to ask you guys, take this down. Oh, since it's fall, what do you plan on making for fall? Uh, Leo just said he loves ponchos. So I'm guessing maybe you get some ponchos you want to pull out that you already made, or maybe you're going to design a brand new pattern. I don't know. But what are you guys revving up to crochet for? Because this is yarn season when people usually go back, pull their stashes out of the corner because they tucked it away from summer and they want to crochet. What are you about to make? Make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. All right. So we're going to hop back into this roundup. All right. Coming in at number three, this is the Harvest Crochet Pillow Cover. <laughs> Excuse me. Hop on a farmhouse decor trend with this stunning tapestry crochet pillow. A tweed yarn in the color oatmeal forms the perfect backdrop for the bold and black cursive lettering. Since it's all single crochet, this is a great project for newer crocheters who would like to learn some color work. The designer of this pattern is Brianna K. Designs. That is cute. Oh, and my favorite thing, if you're ever, you can't read crochet patterns. There's, hold on, that one's a knit tutorial. Does she have a crochet tutorial that goes with it? Let's see, cross your fingers. Those are my favorite designers that also do YouTube free patterns go along with it. So just in case you're ever stuck. No, I don't think she has a, a tutorial to go with it, but this is a free written pattern. So make sure you check that out. And she makes amazing patterns. Brianna K. Designed, if you ever tried any of her, so you won't have any problems with them. The next pattern coming in at number four is the Fall Leaf Garland. This colorful garland is such a great way to appreciate the beauty of fall leaves. Each leaves only takes about four yards of yarn, and they're made with basic cro crochet stitches. You can also use them as appliques or keychains. The designer of this pattern is the Cookie Snob. That's so cute. Wait, it's not appliques, it's appliques. You guys taught me how to pronounce it last week. Applique, not appliques. Hmm. Let's scroll down. Four yards of yarn, that means you got scrap yarn for this. I know you do. You don't have to go out and buy anything brand new for this simple garland or applique. All right, so back to my nugget. The question, what are you planning on making? Ooh, I guess I'll go first. I'm getting back my crochet, crochet, crochet mojo. So I've just recently made a purse. I made a choker. I am think I'm just going to go back to what always used to work for me. I think I'm going to get back into my slippers. My slippers is what people usually like to see. I usually get a lot of views on those. So I think I'm going to get back into slippers. And even though people don't want to watch it too much, I love doing crochet history research. I think I'm going to do some more of those videos. I don't care if they don't get much views. They're like good for my soul. And eventually people research them and in the long run, they'll get some views. But when I do like crochet history research, it like gives my soul energy. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to do some slippers and my videos are going to be crochet history, just research type videos. Those are fun. All right. So what are you guys making for fall? right now make sure you put question marks in front of it so i know to bring it to the front share with us let me get to know you okay just saying hi crazy poppy lady okay miriam says sweaters cardigans ponchos Ooh, you're doing all those you are busy I want to be like you. I want to be like the crochet. These might not be patterns, but for myself, I want to make some more wearable crochet items. I think crochet is so beautiful and I don't wear enough of them because I just don't make them. I always make small, tiny items. Kim says cows. Ooh, those are beautiful. You know what? 
Scarves and cows, that's another favorite uh, fall look for me. There's something about when you put on a cow, it's just like, you look fancy, you look classy, or I don't know. Gina says, finishing wraps and shawls. I love being wrapped in yarn. It is a beautiful thing. I just love touching yarn. It's like, I don't know. Okay, is it just me? When you buy a new yarn or you order yarn and it comes in the mail, what's the first thing you do with it? Myself, when I get the yarn, I look at it, I squeeze it, I touch it, to, no, I sniff it, squeeze it, and rub it on my face. Yes, it's a squeeze, sniff, rub. Probably exactly in that order. I'm weird. Mm, I forgot to mention, if you would like to help support this channel and for me making live streams and videos like this, you can always do that by clicking the little button in the chat area. It's a little dollar sign. That's called Super Chat. When you do Super Chat, the lights will go off behind me and the bubbles will blow and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So that's what will happen if you're doing it for that. Let's keep going on. I'm going off on a tangent. Isabel says, I'm making myself a cardigan. I'm slow because of arthritis, so I'll probably take uh, me until winter to finish it. You know what? Take your time. As long as you finish it, that's what counts. Ooh, I just bought myself a cardigan. This cute little sweater cardigan. I didn't make myself. It was a, from another crocheter. My son and I, last week, we went out thrifting. We happened to come across this craft sale. And this lady, she had all these beautiful things for crochet. And I seen this gorgeous little cardigan that was crocheted. I'm like, it was only $50. So I'm like, can I have this? I love it. She's like, you're not even complaining about the price. I'm like, girl, I'm a crocheter. I think you're undercharging, but I, I, I'll take it. So, uh, of course, I took the sweater and it was beautiful. And, oh, we got a super chat. I feel like I want to run upstairs and go get you, show you guys, but I don't want to leave you on the live, but I'm going to do it in a second. I want to show you exactly what I bought because this one was so talented. So who super chatted? Oh, thank you so much. Twisted Zones, you get a cheers to you. You get to spin the wheel of patterns as the bubbles blow in my face. Here we go. Here is the Wheel of Patterns. Let's get in. You receive my bag purse. So to receive this pattern, hold on, back to my mug. To receive this pattern, Miss Twisted Zones, you have to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Just in case, let me, here we go, pull up the ticker. There's my email right there. So email me at Little John's Yarns and I will email you that pattern. Thank you so much for donating. I can't find the button, turn it off. Okay. Got, oh, we have another one. Wait, you're getting separate bubbles. Wait, separate bubbles for you. Here we go. Thank you so much, Katie B. Yarnfield. I'm Katie's B. Am I saying it right? Katie's B. Ben. Katie's Ben Yarnfield. Am I saying that right? Bubbles, lights, and patterns. Yes, please. This is all for you, my child. For you. All right. So for that, you're going to get a cheers. Excuse all the lipstick. If you're drinking wine from a cup, make sure you always drink from the same size so your whole cup don't get all dirty. Let's spin you the wheel of patterns. There we go. And we're spinning. And thank you so much for donating. You're so awesome. You receive the square, I think it's called, I call them square slippers. Yeah, because they're like little square grids on it. So to receive this pattern, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Okay. Guys, I promise I'm going to take off my shoes right now. I want you guys to see this thing that this woman made me. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be back within 15 seconds. Do not leave. Just stay right there, guys.
coming back. I'm here. I didn't go anywhere. Okay. I made it. Oh. Okay. This, she only charged $50 for it. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me try this on. Absolutely love this. Oh, okay, sit. Isn't this beautiful? I don't even know what point I was getting at, but I love buying crochet. No, I don't even like to make it, but I'll buy it from somebody else. I do like to make crochet. I mean, I don't like to make big things. Uh -oh. I ran, guys. Ooh. Forgive me. Ooh. I need a second. Hmm. Okay. So what do you think of this? I wish I would have had her card or something because she has such beautiful designs. As soon as I see another crocheter, I instantly start talking crochet business. Like, listen, your stuff is amazing. Let's somehow get you to make money and become amazing. Um, gorgeous. All right, here we go. Let me hop in the comments and see what you guys have to say. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna scroll back a little bit. You're making pumpkins. Oh, my question was, what are you guys planning to make? I am so all over the place. Crazy Poppy Lady says, working on summer tops and hand dyed cottons. And when it gets colder, I'll go back to my C2C Ohan Oana's uh, patterns. It's Destiny Stitch. It's Disney, Disney Stitch. I can't pronounce any words. You like my history videos? Not too many people like my crochet history videos. Thank you. I Cheers to you. I appreciate it. Do, do, do. Hmm. You're making G. What are you making? I have to put that again. Here we go. <laughs> the Pickled Pixie. I love your name. I made a ridiculously large pumpkin with chunky cotton last year. I just finished in mandala, mandala from the same yarn to use as a wee area rug. A wee area rug. Got you slippers too. Slippers are my thing. Pumpkins. And favorite girl in the whole wide world you are not late sorry i'm late but my favorite thing about fall is watching the leaves teach us that letting things go is okay cheers to you i never thought about it that way but you know what letting things go is okay i think that was the message i needed to hear right now so cheers to you monique I'm going to make slippers and beanies for my family, especially my three grandbabies. I love you, Alicia, from Monique in Southern California. Love you, too. Thank you so much. Bonita, I'm a super beginner, really slow. So it's back to hats and scarves for me. I love your slipper videos. You're my crochet hero. Thank you so much. And by the way, you call yourself a super beginner. If I say it all the time, if you know the first five basic, four basic stitches, five, that's getting fancy. We'll say four basic stitches. You can crochet anything as long as you have a good pattern to follow. I understand reading patterns can be difficult, but it's 2023. You can follow along to a YouTube video. As long as you know this beginning stitches, you're good to go, girl. Okay. Leo says, I'm totally obsessed with the hexagon cardigan methods. It's making two of them, but can be so wearable and a stylish, very and a stylist very cozy if using thicker yarn, in my opinion. It's the trend right now from last year. You know what? You are good on fashion. I'm horrible. I wish I need some, I need to learn. I'm, I'm jealous of you crochet fashion designer people. Jealous of your skills. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do, 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 do. Oh, hold on. Who's whose background? I love her background. Such a nice vibes. 
you talk are you talking about mine if it is thanks but probably somebody else's here we go are you talking about her okay oh the cardigan this this is absolutely gorgeous i feel like it was i wish she only had this one size. I think she, this was a made in a. Mm, I feel like this is a small, medium. I can't tell. I can't close it. But I don't know. I just. Can you guys? Let's see if I can let you guys see the back. Are you able to see the back? Okay. Back up a little bit. Look at that. It is such a gorgeous. Love it. All right. I'm all over the place and now I'm standing at my computer. What am I missing? Yes, you're too far away, Leo. Wish we were closer. I gotta figure out how to sit back down on my chair again. I have 80 pillows. I'm all over the place. Okay. What's up, Fave? Starting to work on pumpkins for my new apartment. Little housewarming crochet party. Wanda, I enjoy the crochet history videos. I even got picky when I see crochet uh, well machine matchers sold at stores. Mmm, boo. Ari's crochet. I'm going to make lots of pumpkins and decor. Well, what are the four basic stitches? I'm talking about slip stitch, chaining. Uh, after those ones, we got single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, chain slip stitch, like those basic ones if you can do those up to a double crochet you're good to go pop in a treble crochet and now you're fancy Ooh. all those basic stitches you can pretty much go along to any pattern recollected good says cooler weather means i can hook outside under the gazebo in comfort okay i'm gonna do a video on like crocheting language to if you were to say cooler weather means i can hook outside a non-crocheter would say what did you say we always i like to make fun of uh because we're also known as hookers like you like to hook outside in the warmer weather it's perfect for hookers oh my main man uh knit and crochet tiger four basic stitches are chain single crochet double crochet dip yes your thank you i appreciate that Oh, you're talking about my background. It was when you went to get the cardigan. Oh, thank you. My back. Oh, it probably looks well. I don't know if you. Most people don't have plants around. I think my house is a pretty regular house, and then I forget I have eight hundred and fifty-two gazillion plants. This room that I in I'm in right now. This is my calming room. Over in this corner right here, I have a. Uh, macrame swing that i can sit in that has pillows on it and i can look out at this wall that has all my yarn because i have yarn on this side of my fireplace and yarn on that side and i have this big huge like faux green wall with fake plants growing off of my wall you can kind of see it a little bit over top of this bookshelf that's all a faux green wall that goes across the whole side it's my own sanctuary is relaxing it's comforting this is my room there's nothing better if i'm like stressed to sit in that swing and just looking at like a wall of yarn i, I understand i think you guys can understand when you look at yarn does it does it calm you down does it make you feel like life is okay that's how i feel when i look at my plants and yarn i can't help it uh, crocheters are hookers and knitters are nitwits. I feel like, oh, but you can be a nitwit hooker. A nitwitted hooker? Oh, that means you have the two skills together. I'm just a regular hooker. I'm not a nitwitted hooker. <laughs> What's up from the UK, Georgetta? Hello. Here we go. Oh, how dare you, Laurel? I'm a plant killer. Your plants remind me of my childhood home. My mom could grow anything. 
I just recently became a plant mama. I used to kill all types of plants. I don't know. I think there's a certain time in a woman's life because my mom couldn't have plants either till she hit a certain age and now they thrive. My daughter went to college. Instead of getting a cat, I bought a billion plants and it's just became the past obsession for the past couple of years. And I don't, I can't kill them. I'd have killed a couple, but there's because they were like too tough of a species to take care of. And I wasn't ready for it yet, but basically just make sure the dirt isn't too dry. And I keep maybe keep it alive. Let's see who am I missing? Oh, yay! Here is another plant lover loving your hair today. Thank you. I took out the braids. Okay, Robin, how long have you been hooked on plants? I became hooked on plants when my daughter went to college a couple years ago and I felt lost and needed something to take care of and raise. What was that about? Here we go. Am I missing anybody? Katie says, I need to take the time to make my house a place where I could be happy never leaving. My place stresses me out right now. You know what? You do need just that room that whoosha. Just start with one. In order for me to have this room right now, my daughter literally had to go away to college so I can take my crap and stick it in a room so this one can be my wusa room. But when my daughter comes home for the holidays and for the summer, this isn't as it's not as peaceful anymore. I don't have much space in my house. So hmm. some people say, uh, yes, yarn yarn calms me. Yes, totally agree with yarn being calming. It is <laughs> yarn is the most beautiful thing in the world. Robin's plant backstory. Since 2009, no backstory. I just bought some house plants on a whim from a local garden center. And that's not how it starts, you know. Hey, just like the plant. All right, so we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. So remember, if you like any of these patterns and you would like to uh, crochet them right now and not listen to me talk, they're going to be all linked down in a, a description box below. So the next question I'm going to ask you before we hop back into this roundup is. Do you have any crochet events you're going to, or, you know, uh, you're going to part part participate in a craft show? Or are you going to go to, like, last two weeks ago, I went to a craft event. It was like a, a festival, crochet and knit festival. That was awesome. Are there going to be any around? I want to start attending crochet events. Because I see all the cool YouTubers going to these crochet events, traveling across the world. I've got to meet Parley Vu Crochet. She's actually going to be on my uh, channel next week. I'm giving her an interview. She was from California. She's a crocheter. And she flew into Pittsburgh for the event and was selling her items. And I got to see her in person. And that was so awesome. So, guys, are you attending any type of crochet events or being in the festivals or anything? If so, put question marks in front of it. And... Let me know. We'll hop into the front. All right. So where am I at? Do do do. We did that one. Oh, look how beautiful this blanket is. All right. Autumn's Rhapsody blanket number five. The Autumn Rhapsody blanket is a celebration of fall colors and crochet stitches. The sampler style design will teach you many different stitches, including lemon peel, sunflower, falling leaves. Granny Spike and the Bobble Shell. The designer of this pattern is Nada's Nana's Crafty Home. This is gorgeous. A sample blank, a sampler blanket has been on my to-do list forever, but my brain can't put things together like that. Like this is is beautiful. Ah. And the colors. Go ahead, paint box yarn. This, 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 I'm I'm feeling the texture of this yarn and I'm feeling the look of it worked up. Ooh, that's beautiful. Too beautiful. I've done this stitch before on a hat. I should put that in the roundup. It's the leaf stitch hat. And the leaf stitch goes all around the bottom of the hat, so it's super cute. All right. The next pattern, 
some more of my favorite colors. Number six is called the Fall Foliage Pillow. When you make a pillow cover for a specific season, like fall, it sure is nice when it's removable. For this pattern, you'll need less than one skein of each color in a 16 by 16 pillow form. The texture, uh, the texture stitch pattern calls for single, half double, and double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Highland Hickory Designs. This is a beautiful stitch. Mm. I want to see this up close. Oh, they made it into a blanket, too. I'm trying to see this stitch up close. Let's see. Open image, a new tab. There we go. Can we get this bigger? Can't get it bigger, but still beautiful. All right, back to us. Oh, and remember, if you would like to help support this channel via Super Chat, you can do that by clicking the little dollar sign in the comment button area and when you do the lights will go off and the bubbles will blow and you'll get to spin the wheel of pattern i am loving this 50 dollars Ooh, if the price tag said 100 and so i probably would have played 100 and so for this i appreciate all crocheters i really do all right the question I asked you, are there any crochet events, knitting events, craft events, whatever that you're attending this year coming up this fall that you're looking forward to? I would like to know. Maybe there's something near the Pennsylvania area in the United States where Ohio, D.C., Maryland, those areas. Someplace, maybe, maybe I will fly. I don't know. I want to go to one. Let me know. Let me start from the bottom. Okay, Leo says, to be honest, UK um, don't do many crafts or crochet events. I want to go out more and yarn outings and meet other crocheters. Maybe I might have to travel. If there's anything yarn, please let me know. <laughs> oh, by the way, hello. First time. Hello. Cheers to you. And just looked. I wish there would, was. I would be there too. Oh, I know. Okay, let's see. Woven Tail Design says, love that blanket. You should do a fall leaf roundup for one of... Oh. Thank you. Fall leaf roundup. You're a genius. Thank you very much. Of course, you know what's going on in the crochet underground. Fastest Hook in the Valley, September 23rd. Valley Center, uh, Kansas. Kansas, yes. Are you going to be the fastest? Are you going to be a part of it? I remember when I went to last year's uh, Crochet Get of America, the Chain Lake Conference, they had like the fastest crocheter. The woman that didn't even win that was a part of it, that seen crocheting, her hands were moving at the speed of light. I'm like, how are stitches being made? It was so nuts. Oh, this woman right here. Okay, Proverbs 31. I sent you an email about the yarn you got in Pittsburgh. I'll have to dig through this, but I finally got to meet one of my faves in person. Okay, I'm going to get right back to you. Don't you worry, Jeannie. I'm, I'm going to get back to you. You're my favorite. Let's see. Who donated? Thank you so much, Robin. You are the most amazing person in the whole wide world. For Yardy Boy, there are quite a few. U oh, Yardy Boy, there are quite a few uh, UK crochet yarn festivals. Yarndale is the biggest. Okay, Robin, since you donated, thank you so much. You get a cheers. And you get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let's see. How's your crochet life going, Miss Robin? You're so amazing on top of it. There we go. We're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning. Pattern, but this is what you won. And anybody else who donates, when you win, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. So back to, not to dismiss you, Miss Robin, to my favorite person in the whole wide world. 
Proverbs 31, I got to meet in person. I never go to these crochet events. I need to go to more of them to meet more like like minded people. I'm a very shy person. It seems like I'm outgoing online, but I'm very shy. But to actually meet you in person, it meant a whole bunch to me. I felt like I already knew you. I didn't feel uncomfortable talking to you. Um, got to meet Lillian also. It's like, wow, you're real people. You're not just a tiny little icon on uh, in the chat area. You're a live, breathing human being. And thank you so much for talking to me while I was there. And I appreciate it so much. You're the best, Miss Proverbs 31 in the whole wide world. Oh. This is the woman I was talking about. I couldn't find your comment, but this is you right there. Cheers to you. And she has the cutest little pup in the whole entire world, too. And because you donated, I'm going to let you spin the Wheel of Patterns. And her little, cute little, it does nothing. She is so beautiful in person. She came in here with this cute little knit cardigan she had on with crochet edges you are a talented woman here we go Jeannie let's give you a spin spin the new crochet choker I think I call this the princess choker so make sure you email me at little John yarns but you don't have to worry about emailing me because I'm going to remember to email you I'm going to dig through the email. So don't even worry. I'm going to find you, girl. <laughs> Where are we at? Back to me. Oh, I love you, girl. It was so cool to hang out with you. It was, it was awesome to, like, meet you in person. I am very shy, too. But I can uh, just comfortably talk to people at a fiber expo. expo. Know what? Yes. I, because we have things to talk about in common, when I meet other regular people in the world, I'm like, what could we possibly talk about? If I talk about yarn, I'm a weirdo. But when I talk to yarn about you, we're both cool. You know, it makes sense. All right. So we're going to hop directly back into this. Oh, did I miss anybody else? Yes, I'm in the Pittsburgh area. That's where I'm located. Did I miss anybody else's? I don't want to miss... Any events that you guys are going to. Here we go. Oh, Knit and Crochet Tiger. When can you have Reclected Goods guests on a stream talking about more crochet history? Actually, I already asked her. Whenever you're ready, Miss uh, Aida, make sure you send me an email and I want you back on the show because I know you are like busy doing all your crochet famous lady stuff and traveling the crochet world and making 852 gazillion outfits. So I would love to have you on my channel too again. I like, I want woven tail designs. I want reclected goods. I need you both back here, please. Uh, The question, uh, what was the question? Well, Ain't going to any crochet events. You have to defend my title. She is the crochet history queen. All right. So we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. Let's see what number we're on. Seven. Okay. This is, I've asked this question before. Do you have any crochet gripes? Crochet things that have made you mad in the past. It can be anything from how a stitch is made. It can be something, if you sell your crochet and people undervaluing you, it can be somebody calling your crochet knit or your knit crochet. Do you have any crochet craft gripes? Right now, put them in it. Something that pissed you off in your crafting history of working with yarn. Make sure you put question marks in front of it first and we'll bring it to the front after we go through this roundup and remember if you like any of these patterns and you're tired of me talking make sure you go down to the description box all these patterns are absolutely free and linked down below talk so much all right guys 
I got songs stuck in my head. Have any of you guys ever heard of Alan Stone? I've been stuck on all of Alan Stone's and music. Mm. Google them, guys. Google them. Okay. Did I share my screen? Just making sure I did. Okay. This is number seven, the Sunflower Wreath. Bright yellow sunflowers are the perfect way to add a pop of color to your front door. This cute design features a grapevine wreath base and a big ribbon hanger. The pieces are all made separately, and then they're hot glued onto the wreath. Guys, I want you all to give me credit because I've almost made it through this wine glass and I'm still able to read. Good job, me. This is hard. The designer of this pattern is I Love Knots. Cute name. Whew. All right. I love patterns like this where I just need to make whatever it is and hot glue gun stuff together. That's my jam. Short, easy, sweet. This is such a cute pattern. Looks like a little bird's nest. <gasps> Oh my goodness, for spring, what if I made like a reef and just made a whole bunch of stuff to make a bird's nest with? I'll probably forget that. Spring bird's nest for next year. I'm sure somebody already did it. Bird's nest. All right, next pattern. All right, a cornucopia. All right. Wait, this is not a candy corn door basket. I thought it was a cornucopia, but it is candy corn. All right, so number eight is candy corn isn't just for kids. This iconic fall candy is looking more grown up than ever in this beautiful door basket design. Bulky weight yarn combined with post stitches for a totally textured look. Fill with flowers and enjoy. The designer of this pattern is Moogly Blogs. Tamara, she makes amazing patterns and this is perfect a beginner can do this one this is nice thick chunky yarn you can make this up in well under an hour i think with such big yarn it's so cute the thing about post stitches i'm a texture girl i just love the look of texture stitches like this that oh, gorgeous and you know what i think you could take the same pattern Get one yarn, and it's definitely a cornucopia right there for, like, Thanksgiving or something like that. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm feeling this wine. I'm feeling the wine. Ah, all right. So the question that I asked you, what are some crochet hates or gripes that you have? I'll, I'll go first. A crochet gripe that I have, I don't like when somebody... I was just mentioning this to somebody. It's more of a passive aggression, microaggression. If they walk into my house for the very first time and they see all this yarn, all this yarn over there and all this yarn on both sides of my wall and say, oh, what are you going to do with all that yarn? Or maybe you should donate some of that yarn as if like, listen, Heifer, I know I, I, I know I have a lot of yarn. I don't care. This I'm not. I do donate some, but this is, you don't have to tell me how much yarn I have. I live in this house every day. Do not, you know, keep track tabs on my yarn purchases. Mind your business. That is one of my, it's not exactly crochet hate. It's a fiber nag that I don't like when people say, or are you going, why do you need more yarn? It's not that I need more yarn. It's I don't have black yarn. I'm making something and of all the yarn I have over here, none of it's black or none of it's white. It's not the color yarn that I need. Or let's say, why do you need more yarn? Because it calls for five skeins of a certain color. I don't have, mind your business. That's my yarn gripe. So, your turn. Do you have any yarn, crochet, knit, or whatever gripes that make you mad? Let it be how a stitch is made or how people treat you about your yarn or if you sell stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Do, do, do. I don't want to miss anything. Some scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, this might be an older one. Ari says, I really want to go to a crochet market bit 
there's none where I live. That's the worst. You should type where you live right now so maybe somebody in the comments knows of something that you don't know about. There we go. Caitlin says, learning a new stitch is hard and then it's easier an hour after I put it down. Yes, or you ever notice the stitches or the ones that have like multiples, not multiples, a three row stitch. It's like three rows and then it repeats. Or sometimes it might be a six row, but it's kind of the basic same three rows over again. It just moves differently. It's so annoying the first couple rows. And then your brain starts to memorize the stitch and you don't need to follow the YouTube tutorial. You don't have to follow the written pattern. Your brain just, oh, this is where I am in the pattern. You just learn it by row 57. You're like, this is nothing. I always like to, when I'm doing like a more intricate pattern or a stitch tutorial on YouTube, I tell people in the tutorial, like, listen, trust yourself. This sounds ridiculous and tedious to do. Give me two, three rows and you're going to have this in your brain in no time. Promise you. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I just missed one from Reclected Goods. Where are you? Dang it. Here we go. Reclected Goods. Family people asking, can you actually make money doing that? That is annoying. Okay. I'm in the dating world now, you know, I've got divorced last year, I'm dating, and when people, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, I'm a crocheter. It sounds like I'm unemployed. It sounds like I don't have a real job. But yes, you can make money doing this. This is actually what I do for a living, and I'm able to pay my mortgage, pay some of my daughter student loans and make sure my kids are okay yes we can make money doing this <laughs> susie i know you didn't put question marks in front of it if you want to um reply to this but i seen it was make sure you put question marks in front susie says having to rewrite a pattern from uk terms to us terms yes and i'm sure people from the uh, uk can kind of get pissed off at our terms too wonder okay i have a question i know hook by robin she does all her patterns in u.s terms uh oh leo how do you do yours do you follow uk uh crochet terms or u.s when you write your own patterns how do you do it kel says uh hi alicia i hate when patterns are written all crazy it's where i'm at like what I like this. I was talking to my great aunt. She's a crocheter also. She complains about how crochet patterns are written today. Crochet patterns today have so much detail, I think, it can lead to confusion. I think we are so detailed as crocheters, pattern designers, and what the customer wants from us also. It can get so confusing. Once upon a time, you get a crochet pattern, and it's this is this, and this is a wedding dress, and the, the crochet pattern is this big. I'm like, what? Now you get an eight page crochet pattern, how to make a crochet cranny square. You get eight billion pictures, you get a video tutorial on mine, you get timestamps. It can be confusing nowadays. So understand. Oh, those sunflower wreaths that the ones you just glue on? They are super cute. People suggesting I get a real job. People who suggest that you get a real job, they're jealous. They're jealous that you get to do exactly what you love to do. They're jealous that you sit in a craft room full of beautiful yarn. Yes, I'm not saying you don't work hard because you're one of the hardest working crocheters and tequerians that i know but they're jealous of you don't get a real job you work harder than what they do but you're doing what you love and the money that you're making goes into your pocket you're not helping somebody else grow you're helping yourself and your family grow, grow so bag them boo mm, that makes me so mad mm -hmm. 
don't want to miss anybody's. Here we go. <laughs> yes. I hate yarn barf and knots. I hate yarn barf and knots too. They're the absolute worst. Another knot hater. Greetings from Portugal. Hello, Maggie Bag. Maggie Bags. I like your name. Let's see. Mm. You know what? I'm going to, they just need to leave you and your yarn stash alone. They don't know how, what, a crocheters and a knitter's yarn stash, that's their heart. They don't know how much that means to us. And they should, because I think everybody has their own search certain obsession some women like uh purses or men and some men have their own obsessions everybody has their own obsession at least our obsessions depending on if you're a yarn snob or not at least it's not that expensive even if you are a yarn snob it is not that expensive leave us alone and what I can make with my yarn, you can't do with a purse, a bag, tools, or whatever you're gonna buy. What I can do with yarn, I can turn this into something brand new. So forget them Proverbs 31, forget them. Ari says, I hate when my yarn gets tangled, it's annoying. Yes, we hate it. Oh, here we go. The Pickle Pixie says, I have to agree on badly written patterns. Massive respect to those who can create things from scratch, but if they're selling patterns, they need to be written well for everyone to follow. Yes, yes, amen. That is the benefits of having pattern testers and pattern uh, tech editors. The pattern testers make sure your patterns are whack and understandable. And then your pattern editors, your tech editors, make sure your written patterns that you've already written out are understandable to other people. Stranger than fiction. Now, I'll always remember you're from Peru now. I hate it when people talk themselves out of leaving a certain aspect of crochet because I tried it once and I can't do it. You got to keep trying to grow. Exactly. You don't give up. You don't stop. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm biased because I say crochet. And now I'm thinking about, I did it with knit. What you're talking about, I did it with knit because I'm a crocheter first. I started knitting and I was like, ah, no, small stitch. And went back to crochet. But if you are new to the fiber arts in general and you're new to knitting, keep going. Or if you're new to crocheting, don't stop. Don't give up. Once you get the hang of it, it's second nature. So thank you, Miss Stranger Than Fiction or Mr. Stranger Than Fiction. I don't know if you're a Miss or Mr. Okay, we're getting to know each other, Stranger Than Fiction. I know you're from Peru. So are you Mr. or Miss? Which one are you? I don't want to assume. I'm sniffy, sorry. Forget them, Laurel. We don't care about them. I lose count too much. My husband and kids complain about me having too much yarn too. And diddle on diddle on needing other yarns. It's it's because you need other yarn. Yes, you have a lot of yarn. Yes, you have a lot, but you're making a brand new pattern and it calls for a specific brand of yarn and you want it in a specific color, but unfortunately you don't have, you just don't have. So you have to get more. It's not your fault. It's not. We love you. Mm. Do, do, do. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't want to sniff on camera. It's the worst. I'm sure you probably still hurt me sniffed as I ducked away. Woven tail designs. I hate when my favorite color gets discontinued in a yarn store and they haven't been on the shelves for that long. Also, purple is your color. Thank you. Actually, purple is my absolute favorite color since I was a wee little girl, but I never wear purple. The color that I love to wear is yellow, but I actually never wear purple. But thank you very much but I've had that happen. Uh, 
there was this yarn. It was made by crochet.com, which is a sister company of Knit Picks. I forget the name of the yarn, but it was a very colorful yarn. It was beautiful. And it was like a limited, I made a pattern in it and everything. And I recommended this yarn to everybody. And it discontinued it. I'm like, what the French toast? Why don't you have this yarn anymore? Ah, mm, makes me mad. Oh, look, Hook by Robin. She is the greatest teacher. You taught me to crochet. Stranger than fiction. I hate when people talk themselves out of learning. Oh, where well, I did that one, sorry. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go. I don't have any gripes and I really don't care what people say. You know what? She gives negative zero Fs. Good job. Cheers to you. Here we go. I guess it's about the uh, U.S. and U.K. crochet terms. The crazy poppy lady says, I'm the same. I do U.S. terms in my videos and patterns. It's a bigger market, but we'll translate them to English if asked. Do, do, do. Ooh, okay. The Pickle Pixie. I'm Scottish, but I learned to crochet a few years ago through YouTube, so I use U.S. terms. Name drop, Knit and Crochet Tiger. I remember Reclected Goods talked about translating patterns from their great designers that made gorgeous Victorian style garments on the stream. We're gonna have her back, right? Here we go. Crochet patterns now have too much info because people don't wanna think. She said it, I agree, but I didn't say it. I agree, but I didn't say it. As a crochet designer, I don't want to, you don't, you don't want to alienate your customers. You don't. But if you would go to look at patterns from even like 30 years ago, 40 years ago, they are so different. I, I, no, I'm not going to complain too much because sometimes patterns can be difficult. But I put, I put so much information into my patterns. I, I give you a tutorial. I, I give you the written pattern. At the end of each one of my rows, I put a stamp, time stamp to my tutorial back so you can follow along to the video at the same time. And then I link to everything and I take all pictures for each steps. And then I'll still get emails like, I don't understand. I'm like, hmm. But I remember having um, Aida on my live stream. She was talking how vague things were written, like row three, increase two times in a row or increase five times in a row. You have to figure out how to put those increases five times within a row yourself. It's nobody telling you to single crochet into the next five stitches, then increase. You have to figure that out yourself. Rachel, here we go. Popcorn stitch or any stitches with four more yarn overs per stitch. The tension hurts my hands and it takes so long because I always lose one or more of the loops. Ah, uh, makes sense. Yeah. You got to yarn up, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Or it can just be the yarn over. It depends like bobbles and wait. Hold on, bobbles, and what's the other one? Were they like, you know what I'm talking about. Anything with a whole bunch of yarn overs, you're right. It can be annoying. I didn't even think about that one, but that was a good one. Here's somebody that agrees with us, with us, Aida. Here we go. Kel's Crochet Corner. A real job? Seriously? Yep, Alicia, I agree. They are jealous. Heck, just because a channel supporter is full-time job, so I can only imagine what it takes to have, be a crocheter as a profession. I am so thankful for the internet every single day. I would, If this was like 25 years ago, I wouldn't be able to do what I do right now as a living. But you are, all of you men and women who are crochet yarn hustlers that do this as a living, Cheers to you to be able to take yarn 
and uh, translate it into an income is not easy. It's not like we're teaching people how to retire or how to fix their cars or how to do techie things. This is yarn. This is something crazy. If you can make money with this, cheers to you. And I think people can, but it's, it is difficult. And there are worse addictions to have in collecting yarn. It's not a bad addiction. I think it's very affordable. Oh, thank you for watching. That's from YouTube. On YouTube or Facebook, I appreciate that so much. I cleaned out five bins of toys and donated them to Goodwill. I took all my yarn out of the boxes and filled up five bins. I need a few more bins. It's okay. Oh, my God. We're well over an hour. Okay, I'm going to get back to all of these. We're talking. I'm going to do the last two crochet patterns in this roundup. If you're just getting here and wondering where the patterns are, they're linked all down in the description box below. So the next thing I'm going to ask you is not exactly a question. It is, what are you working on? And let me know. Put a question mark in front of it and pop it in the comment. Or if you want people to see what you're working on, you can email me. Let me hide the current comment. Email me right there. See at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Email me what you're working on so I can show everybody right now on a live stream. Show off your work. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to do these last couple patterns and I'll go over these last comments afterwards. I just don't want to keep you too long. I'm sorry. All right. Get my script ready. Yep, here we are. Number nine, the fall apple basket. Are you running out of places to store all your harvest goodies? This adorable fall baskets are pretty and practical. The bright colors and texture elements are sure to add some eye candy to your kitchen counter. The designer of this pattern is Lila Bajorn Crochet for Notions. So remember, this is another absolutely free pattern. This is so cute. I wouldn't have thought simple pattern. Sometimes as a pattern designer, when I see these beautiful, cute patterns, that's not too complicated. I'm like, I wish I would have thought of that first. How cute is that? All right. And coming in on our very last pattern at number 10, the crochet pine cones. You may not like picking them up, but you have to agree that these pine cones are super cute. Mix real painted pine cones with colorful crochet variations for a fun and interesting crochet table piece. The pattern is worked flat and calls for just single crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is In the Yarn Garden. This is super cute. I, I, I know I keep calling all these patterns super cute, but I'm not going to lie. Look, it is. It's cute. It's a pine cone. Cute side story. When my precious uh, little boy son was a little wee toddler, he was terrified of pine cones. So we would, I know it's not nice. It's, it's so in my bad parenting. We would take a pine cone if we found one outside and put it next to him. He would scream, go pine cone, and just dart and run away. You just toss a pine cone at him like in a bomb and he just sprint. He was so cute. All right. So. Back to us, we've seen all these wonderful patterns on a roundup. I hope you enjoyed them. And remember, all these patterns are going to be linked down in the description box below. So what I asked you, what are you working on? And if you'd like for everybody to see what you're working on, I'm going to go into my email in like two seconds and I'm going to show everybody exactly what you've been making. But I didn't want to miss anybody's replies from last time. Let's see. Okay, things we don't like about yarn. When you order yarn online and it looks like someone returned it. Ooh, dirty yarn. I don't like that. Crazy poppy lady. I hate the cost of imported yarn to the UK. <laughs> Excuse me. And the postage cost and the taxes coming to the UK. Oh, and no proper yarn sales here in the UK. Yeah, God. I'm sorry, everybody in the UK. You guys are getting yarn robbed. You are. I feel like there are so many big box yarn stores around me. It's ridiculous. From my house, within a 30-minute drive, I have at least 
five, at least five big box yarn stores, at least. Hobby Lobbies, a couple Joann's, and at least two Michaels. Yeah, there's five. At least two Joann's, at least two Michaels, and a Hobby Lobby, all within 30-minute drive of my house. Sorry, everyone. I have to leave. See you next week. Mwah. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it so much. Bye, 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 bye. The Pickle Dixie. Old patterns. I was clearing out my granny's house and found a wee booklet of crochet patterns. Going by the ads in it, I we think it's from the 1940s. I can send pics if you're interested. I am interested. Of course I am. Hmm. A shawl? What about a shawl? Woven tail designs, working on a pattern modifications. Oh, we're back to what are we working on right now? If you guys want to know, she is a pattern designer. Working on a pattern modification and some new bow patterns. There we go. Pat says, I like making black blankets and gifting them. I hate when people tell me I should sell my products. This is my hobby, not my job. I would like to keep it that way. People can be dry, insulting. Yes. You know what? Everybody doesn't have to make money doing this. And I will tell anybody that does want to venture into making money with crochet, the love of it will... I still love crochet with all my heart, but the love that a hobby gives you isn't the same as when you turn it into a job. Just a forewarning. I got, just got you, okay? Is this today? Sunday? I don't know. Today is Sunday for me. <laughs> Laura sa Laurel says, rectangular C2C blankets and cotton mesh hats for my friend who just finished chemo and wants lighter cotton hats than most chemo cats. Caps. And Best wishes to your friend, definitely. Thank you for answering. Yes, Tina, we are we are live and it's Sunday. <laughs> do, do, do. Jessica says, literally have 10 projects sitting on my couch to work on. Which one of those 10s are going to be 10? 10, 10 or it's going to be lucky that you're going to be working on today. I want you working on something today. Sharon says, working on working a couple of baby hats for a coworker who's had twins. Oh, I could imagine having twins. Bye. Uh, that's what I'm working on. Bag of day Shaw. Bag of day, I love her patterns. Oops. I meant I didn't want to miss you, Precious. Sorry. Hi, Alicia. I hope actually you spelled my name exactly right. Thank you so much. Hi, Alicia. I hope you spelled your name. I agree with you in reference to people not wanting to learn from the pattern. I always say some folks don't want to think for themselves. Amen. I didn't say it. You said it for me, precious. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Rub it in, girl. One day I will fly to the U.S. for a weekend. Fill up my luggage with yarn and flying back will be cheaper. It hell, it might be. It might be. I just need to know when the orange sticker event's going on. Oh, okay. I know Hobby Lobby, I think once a year, does this yarn sale where yarn is like dirt, dirty, dirty, filthy, cheap, like sense wise. And people go in. I only was able to attend it. It was like four years ago. I was lucky to somehow hop on at the right time. It's still towards the end of it. So, ooh, so it might be cheaper. Come on out, please. Mm. I wonder how much a plane ticket would cost and how much the yarn would cost. It actually might be cheaper. That's so crazy. Uh, where I'm uh, making brick blankets. I did that one. That one. Here we go. Okay, Jessica, out of the 10 project projects, I'll probably work out your new choker necklace. Yay! I don't have my new... Where did I put one of my new chokers? I had it somewhere. Oh, oh, here's one of them. Ugh. Mm, I have 18 pillows. That's why it's so hard for me to sit down. 
Ugh, okay. This is a simple little pattern. Oh my goodness, I'm all in purple, girl. I am a brand new person now on my live stream. Look at this. I got my crochet earrings in from Parley View Crochet, put on my crochet choker, and my, cro oh, am I a diva? Am I a diva now? I'm a crochet diva with all my crochet on right now. Look at me. Okay, I'm being weird. All right, so now, oh, you got to leave. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it so much. I know. It is, I'm, I'm kind of, it's not too matchy, but matchy enough. Totally. Okay. All right. Now we're going to hop into my email and we're going to look at all the things that you guys are making right now. And guys, you're feeding my ego. It's the wine. I'm just eating it right up. Thank you, my girl. All right. So let's hop into my email and see what you guys are working on. Let me refresh this just in case. Am I sharing my screen? I am sharing my screen. Ooh, oh, whose pattern is this? I'm looking at the hand. Okay, knitting house. That's whose pattern that is. That is a gorgeous stitch. What the French toast. Jesus, that's gorgeous. Wait, wait back stop wait, wait oh these are from the old patterns here we go aida thank you this is to rachel so many baubles using the pattern to create this 1935 gown you're making the gown in the royal blue okay i'm glad i went back to that what you're making this gown you're making this gown i want this gown Jeez, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I want it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my. I want to go back to the gown. You're making this. You're making this. I'm obsessed. I want that. I want it. I want it so bad. It's so beautiful. Okay. Proverbs. Okay. There are, these are the two yarns I got. Oh, from the thingy. We were both shopping at the same. Guess what? Where's my yarns? I thought I bought the two same yarns. I bought this one because I recognize the texture and I got another one that wasn't the texture. I got two separate yarns too. I thought I bought the two same ones, but they're two different textures like yours. Are yours two different textures? It looks like mine. Wait, you want to try? Hold oh, on. <gasps> these are the two yarns I got. If they're, if this is one of them that you got and you want to trade, actually, yes. Because listen, I thought I bought two of the same, but I bought two of the same colors, but two textured yarns. I'll email you. I'll email you. <laughs> okay. Hey, Timmy, is that, am I pronouncing your name right? Timmy. Hey. Oh, you donated, so I'll make sure to get back to you. Do, 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 do. Inbox. I think those were all the pictures that were people who donated. Okay. Not too many. So we are going to wrap this up today. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. I had a whole bunch of fun. I actually had like a wardrobe change, and I don't know what happened. I'm a completely different person as I end this live stream. But thank you so much for joining me here today. Make sure you check me out next Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have Jamie Parley Vue Crochet, the wonderful woman who made these earrings. Not for me. I purchased them. But she made these amazing earrings. So she'll be on our live stream next week. And wait, wait. I'm not. Wait, I'm going to stop. I'm saving this for you, Faye. I'm not going to log out yet. You have sent me something. And I will look at it. Guys, let's see. And then after that, then I'll be saying goodbye. Your babe, I'm not going to forget about you. Oh, see, you got to keep your tea ready right there. I like your mouse. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. You are the sweetest. I like that. Mm, I want some tea. Is that tea or is that an alcoholic beverage? I, I need to know. Mm. All right. All right. Now, 
I will let you go, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you, Caitlin, for sharing that last picture. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.